Well, hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we're going to be talking about a handy dandy little device that just might save you a little bit of trouble. You know, I have three battery jump packs and I have a DeWalt compressor that I carry when we travel in the Spider. And what I was looking for was a compressor and a jump pack combined. Well, it just so happens I had a company contact me. Now, the name of this company is JF Eguo. Now, I know what you're saying. JF Eguo, what does that mean? I don't know. All I know is they contacted me via email. There was no money exchanged, any of that. All right, well, before we get going, if you would give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all that jazz. I want you to know something, though, before we do this review. But to be absolutely transparent, they gave me this unit and said, review it. Tell everybody what you think about it. Well, I've had it a little over a month. I have taken my time to make sure that it worked. It has worked very, very well. But I want you to know that if it wouldn't have worked well, I'd be telling you, or I just wouldn't do the review. I'd call the company and go, hey man, you know what? You sent me some mess and I don't want nothing to do with it. Um, but so far, so good. It's worked very, very well. Again, longevity of things. I've had it over a month. It's done well for over a month. How will it be in six months, a year, two years? Only time will tell. That's how it is with all things. Been messing with it. You know, I've used it on my lawnmower, my uh, SV650X. Didn't have on the uh, battery tender, so I ended up having to jump it off. Had an old lawnmower, I jumped it off. So I, but I, you know, I was like, I've got plenty of battery packs. I'm really not stressed. It seems like to me, most of the companies have that part of it figured out. The question is, can I find a compressor that's going to work for me, whether it's on a spider tire, whether it's on a motorcycle tire, what's on a wheelchair tire, what's on a trailer tire? And that is a big deal for me. And I'm looking at doing the tat next year sometime. Well, if I do the tat, if I'm out in the middle of the desert and I have a flat tire, I need to be able to plug that tire and I need to be able to get air in it. So I needed something that had a little kick to it. So they sent me this product and I'm like, well, let's see what it's going to do, how it's going to go. So let me show it to you. So this is it, the JF Eguo 2000A 12 volt jump starter with air compressor. Now I'm going to tell you, this little device has done really, really well. So why don't we hop into the kitchen, do a little unboxing, and then we'll talk about all of the features that it has as far as the tech specs. We'll do that right after a little kitchen unboxing and a little review of how it works. All right, so we got it out of the box, so let's check this thing out. Again, this is the JF Eguo. Now, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Again, I'm a South Georgia boy. Here is the owner's manual to it though, right there. It is a versatile jump starter user manual. I'm gonna tell you, this thing says it will, and we're gonna put it through the test. Will it? Put air in a tire will it jump off a vehicle now these are the big things for me i want to carry this when i do the trans america trail or when i travel on the spider i want something that i can count on that's not only going to jump start it if i have a battery problem but if i have a tire problem that i can get air in those tires so this is this is you know a possible solution the uh plug in for the cigarette lighter type thing i don't know if we call it a cigarette lighter anymore but you know what i'm talking about the 12 volt Let's unzip this thing and get it out and see what we got. All right, so here's the box, the uh, jump starter built in with built-in air compressor. Um, looks pretty solid, feels pretty solid. The hose for putting air in there. And we're gonna use this thing. I've got a lawnmower in the backyard that is literally, uh, we'll just say it's falling apart. And the front left tire is always flat. It is a real pain in the butt to get air in it. It doesn't like to create a very good seal. So we're gonna we're gonna put this thing through a test on that thing because if it'll do that, it will certainly do a motorcycle tire. Jump start cable look nice and solid. Got me getting my getting my little valve there, getting that all called up in here. All right, jump start cable. So we've got our jump start cable, it plugs in right here. It's protected by this little rubber flap to keep the uh, water out of there in the event that you're in rain. Can only go in one way, boom. There you go, you see it. We'll talk about how to do that. Also has a, has a lights on it for uh, when you're out on the side of the road. So air compressor, you turn that baby on right there. There's a power switch right there. Got your air compressor with, uh, with your 
with your gauge that shows your uh, unit of measurement. It's set for PSI. Pretty darn simple there. And you've got a couple of USB ports for charging accessories, and you've got your charger port for charging the device itself. It comes with the standard wall charging device, and it comes with the uh, 12 volt plug that baby in and charge it up with that. So let's take this thing outside and see what it will do with the old lawnmower, because I'm telling you, when you see this lawnmower, you're gonna be like, what in the world does that thing even run? Let's see if we can't get some air in a tire out there. All right, I know what you're saying. You're saying, Coach, that is the worst looking tire I've ever seen in my life, and that is okay. Uh, we might as well put this thing to the test. Just uh, drop it down to about, we'll say 12 pounds. Here we go. All right. So this thing actually works pretty well there on that. Let's do the other tire. Now, I would always suggest that anytime you do anything like this, that you use a actual tire gauge on a motorcycle or something like that. You obviously, let's get it at 12. this thing goes up I will pause it because what it does is it reads a little in arrears we will say that so real time you can see it going up it's at 10 and a half already even though I have it set to 12 it will over inflate it if you're not careful so you don't want to run it just wide open and then you over inflate your tire there you go we're at 12 right where I want to be so the air compressor for a motorcycle tire works exceptionally well. For a lawnmower tire, works exceptionally well. I have no reason to believe that it won't work exceptionally well on a car tire. It's just going to take a little more time because a car tire is a lot bigger. It takes a lot more air. After doing all that, we still have 100% battery life, which, you know, I'm going to tell you, that's pretty darn impressive. All right, so in order to turn the lights on, you simply hold the power button down and the lights come on. Press it multiple times, it brings up different patterns. As you can see, goes into that mode, next mode, next mode, and all solid on, and then hold it and turns it off. So very simple on the lights, very simple on the air gauge. So what about the jump starter? So far, I've utilized this to jump off a motorcycle and that particular lawnmower. Um, will it jump off a car? I have no reason to believe that it will not. This thing works really, really well, and the battery life seems to be superlative. That's what has impressed me the most about this unit. With two ways to charge it and some nice, solid, heavy-duty battery cables, I'd say you pretty much got what you need. All right, the device also comes with uh, nozzle attachments for inflating different types of tires and or things that you just may need to inflate. Obviously, these are the smaller valves like on a bicycle tire or a wheelchair tire in our case makes that very easy for us. And of course, football or soccer ball needles and for inflating devices like rafts or, you know, if you're out camping, that sort of thing, motorcycle camping, yeah. Uh, riding around on that spider or that tiger, you're out there in the woods, you need to blow something up. There it is right there. All right, welcome back. So you got to see it put air in my old ratty looking lawnmower tire, I'll tell you that. Um, the only thing that I would say is the compressor on this thing works really, really fast. And in the process of doing that, you can over inflate a tire. So as I showed on there, you simply turn the compressor on, then turn it back off. Let that catch up. Turn it back on, let it catch back up. Now, I've used this thing a bunch of times, and I'm going to tell you, the battery life on this is done really well. Obviously, when you jump start something, it drains it more rapidly than the air compressor. But with the air compressor and the lights, 
This thing has been super duper dependable and has really lasted a long time, much to my surprise because I really thought that airing up tires was going to be a problem. I put air in my tri Tiger tires, very easy, very simple, very fast, not been a problem. Haven't had to put any air in the Spider tires or in my car tires, but the compressor has worked unbelievably well. So let's talk about a few of the tech specs and then we'll be done with this. All right, so this is the owner's manual. It's, it's, you know, it's just your typical small owner's manual. I showed you what came in it. There's no need in me reading the book to you and telling you what comes with it. One of the things that I did find interesting, it has the jump starter output and all this stuff. It shows automobiles. It even shows vehicles the size of RVs being jumped off by this. It does have a lithium ion battery in it. So, you know, you got to be careful about brutal cold or really, really high heat, those sorts of things. But the USB, it, it does support, you know, more rapid charging like it's supposed to. Um, the thing is not very big and it weighs 2.87 pounds. So not incredibly heavy, but not really light either. Remember I told you when I had it in the kitchen, it, it did feel like it had a little mass to it. So if you look at it, it is, I'll give you the measurements on this. It's a uh, 6.57 inches wide, 5.98 inches tall, and 3.07 inches thick. So just quick run through, you got your, there's your port for your, uh, for your jump starter, you got your compressor, you can press the button, it'll tell you, you can change the units on that. And then you've got your two USB ports. One is, again, the uh, the rapid charge type thing. It's got the little white color on it, and the other is the, the standard. Um, works great. Now, one thing I did learn about the battery display after having this thing a while, I was like, man, it went from 100% to like 75% like that. What happened? How did it drop 25%? Well, it will show 100% on the display until it gets below 75%. Then it'll show 75%. When it gets below 50, it shows 50, down to 25. It starts doing that, it shows 25%. And when you get less than 5%, the 25 just starts flashing. So it's not gonna be an exact number, 100, 99, 98, 97. Doesn't work that way. So that's something that I found a little confusing when I first pulled it out. Not reading the owner's manual, just plugging it in and going with it. But in order to jump start with this thing, your battery power has to be over 50%. You plug the cables in, you hook your clips up to your battery, start the car, and there you have it. Disconnect it, you're good to go. And in their owner's manual, it says that it will jump start anything from a yacht to a lawnmower. Now I've seen the lawnmower, but I don't have a yacht. Now, although it shows a picture of the RV in the little thing, it tells you this will not jumpstart a large truck. So you define large truck. Does that mean a diesel dually? I would say it does. Does that mean my Dodge Ram? Probably. I wouldn't try to jumpstart my Dodge Ram with this. Would it do it? It might. I'm sure it would start a Toyota Camry or my Acura TL, those sorts of things though. Well, there you have it. The JF Eguo 2000 amp, 12 volt, battery jump pack and air compressor all built into one with an emergency light. Yeah, just for you. So do me a favor until next time. You, yes you, go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are definitely doing it wrong. Now you go seize the day. I will see you on the road real, real fast.